Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, we're gonna do some ripple effect. Now, let me tell you first of all, the two things that I really want to share. The first thing is, we all love Bootstrap. Now, the reason we love Bootstrap in web development because we are all not so good in designing the thing, the CSS part. Bootstrap, what it allows us, it gives us some file, we add those files and just add a class in our text like buttons, and it just works. We all love this kind of feature. By the way, if you're not aware of the Bootstrap, you definitely want to check out my complete front-end development course. But on to the right track again. The thing is, we want the things to be simplified. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can simplify the ripple effect. In case you don't know what the ripple effect is, I will tell you in a moment. A ripple, ripple effect is something which came up with the material design of the Google and Android-ish thing. And you just click on a button, it gives you a wavy thing over the button. It's not that much important, but it looks so subtle and so cool that I really wanted to design that. So in this video, let's quickly design that. And it's not a big deal. You can quickly just copy and paste some code that I'll give to you and just add that class. And that's it. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead onto my screen and let's do that quickly ripple effect on buttons. You'll be surprised to know that how easy it is to have a ripple effect. So let me just walk you through with that. Bring up your editor, whatever that is, in case, in my case, it's Atom, and in your case, it can be Sublime Text, no big deal there. So just add up a folder there, there we go. I have dragged a drop a folder here, and we're gonna press Command N or Control N to get a new file, and let's just save this. And we're gonna save this as simply uh, index.html, we always save that like that and just get some boilerplate code, not like that, but yep, just like that. So there we go, we have got some boilerplate code and then we're gonna have a container. So div.container and there we go. And inside that we need a button. So there we go, we're having a button. And it's gonna say something like this. Oops, I can type my name correct if I can remember. There we go, not a big deal. And we need one more file and this is gonna be our CSS file. So I'm gonna save that as style.css, there we go, not a big deal. And now we can just link this file up. So that could be pretty easy. We can just have a link, colon CSS, there we go, style.css. Now we need to launch that file. So I can open that up in my Chrome somewhere. Okay, there we go. So there we go, our file is here and we can just have it. I'm gonna keep this aside for a minute so that we can have some stylings here. So in the meantime, I'm gonna open up a blog article here and there we go. And we will use that in a second, don't worry. I'm not doing anything uh, outside the screen kind of stuff. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna need something stylings here because this right now uh, doesn't look cool. So we can say dot container and our regular stuff is gonna be like uh, background color is gonna be like uh, we can just use a c1 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 which is a, like grayish I remember a few colors okay no big deal we can have a height here as well of 500 pixels again and we can have like flex oops not a flex it's kind of a display flex and uh, again justify content center align item center uh, I think I'm going a little fast but no big deal you can just pause me there and copy and paste so in the button we're gonna add a class so this class is gonna be something like a uh, btn just like that and here we can just pick that class of btn and uh, uh, we can grab some colors from learn code online color picker and but right now uh, I'm gonna just not do that and I'm gonna just do something very bad which is orange. You should never write the colors like that. But I'm, do, I'm doing that still. Okay, so just colors and we're gonna pick up white there and uh, we're gonna have the size, uh, text size, font size, sorry, font size and we're gonna get pretty big here, 40 pixels. Okay, and we're gonna have some paddings and from Top and bottom, I'm gonna get 20 pixels. And from left and right, I'm gonna grab 40 pixels there. So pretty big deal and it should look pretty good. And there we go, quickly we have got a button which just looks like this. Plain simple button, not a big deal. Okay, 
And what we can do now is we can add a ripple effect to this button so that when you click on it, a wave of circle just goes like that. It looks beautiful. So what you can do is go to learncodeonline.in. I have published a recent blog just recording before recording this video. So you can just search for getting perfect ripple effect. We, by the way, post a lot of blogs article, which you should definitely read. So go ahead, read them and just open this in case you're not finding it. Just search for it. You'll find that. And there we go. All you have to do is copy this code. So uh, this is already being written and there is a class. You can notice there's a class ripple here and you just have to add this class. You can bring up a separate file and can do that. In this case, we don't need that. So we can just paste this code directly here. Now, what you have to do is add this class just here. So you can add it existing class just like that. Save that and you can go back. Oops, hit a reload there. And now it will work. It will work. And the good news is you can use them alongside with the bootstrap as well, no big deal. And I have explicitly chosen the white color here because it looks so good. When you have a white, it looks awesome with any color. Like for example, uh, if my color is something not orangish, it's like uh, blue, any other selection of color like black can be not so good. Uh, so that's why I have chosen it. So for example, the button is blue, uh, the white effect will still be there. And if the color is black, it looks pretty dope. So let me just show you that and just hit a reload there and there we go it's a subtle white it's subtlety that makes things beautiful it should be not so much aggressive it should look good so there we go and you can obviously style that a little bit more it can have that so yes uh, the blog article is here you can just note down the url link or you can just search on learncodeonline.in blog pretty good pretty good i like that so this is this was your quick ripple effect now, I know this is not the world's most perfect ripple effect, but it just does the job. Yes, there can be a variety of ripple effect, like it, it can start from here and can transition, can go upside with a nice and beautiful animation, or can be like uh, coming from one side clicking, other side clicking. It, it can be evaluated quite a lot. But the best part is you are not adding any JSS file, like JavaScript file, or any other extra things. It just works. So that's it for this video, and I'll catch you up in the next one.